Hey everyone, Coach Kayla here, and today I'm going to share a little story with you. Uh, I'm going to share a time in which a mindset shift was really, really powerful for me. And because of that, that's why I believe so strongly in this choice that we all have to make as to how we let our self-talk and how we let our actions um, speak towards ourselves and what that can bring for us, you know, overall in the big overarching um, period. You know, so mindset is one of those things where it's so incredibly powerful and it can really take you from one place in your life and bring you up to that next level you. And this is something that happens on a regular basis. This happens a lot. It happens over and over and over again. Um, I actually could go back and tell you many stories of when making the decision to change my mindset and to make this shift into my previous thought process into this new thought process was, you know, powerful. Um, you know, we could talk about when I had to make, made, finally made the decision to move from controlling food and having a disordered, uh, relationship with food and what led leading to anorexia and to now to moving through that. Um, I could talk about when I had to make a decision to not fall into anger after my after getting hit by the car and moving through that and being able to be the next biggest me um we could talk about moving when it had one of the worst hardest races of my life in kona 2017 and having to move through that to realize that i am a stronger and bigger person and i can do this and then ended up finishing strong and being so mentally tough and because of that feeling like that was one of my greatest and strongest races so there's a lot of situations in which um mindset will take you from here all the way to here and that's kind of what we're going for and so um, i'm going to share my story with you guys and this is a story of back in 2013 when i finally made the decision to stop letting my outside situations control me and let fix the internal portion of myself so that i could become that next level me and that right there has led that decision in 2013 it was um right at right before uh new year's made is I swear the reason I am where I am today. I actually swear that this, this mindset shift that I made is the reason I met my husband. And if I, ha if I hadn't made the shift, I don't think I would have, I wouldn't have been open to it. So here's, here's where we're going with this. So back in 2013, I was, um, I was 24, 23. I don't actually know how old I was. And I was, had just gotten through, you know, I was at the, in the, in the midst of, at the end, tail end, it had been quite a few months um, of a pretty horrible breakup that really kind of devastated me and shook every ounce of any form of confidence that I had built. I was always a very non-confident person, um, didn't really believe in myself, let other people control what I should be doing, made the decision, let them take decisions for me and say, you know, by supporting them, that meant that I was, you know, a strong person. But in reality, I needed to make, I needed to change that. And because of this, you know, I, I didn't have, I wasn't making any money. I had, I barely, I lived in this really shitty apartment um, that, smelled like mold. I'm pretty positive it had mold in it. And this idea was that I, I, you know, I barely had enough money to pay my rent. I barely had enough money to pay my car insurance. I, you know, put gas in my car. Um, I think my boss even lent me some money to put gas in my car once because I didn't have enough to get myself home. Um, and I, was getting I was just so angry. I was so angry at myself. I was angry at other people. I was angry at the situation I was living in. I was angry at my apartment. I was angry at my job. And this anger was just this negative spiral. And I was constantly telling myself, well, if you just got a new job, if you just got, if you just, if you just got a new apartment, you would be better. Everything would be better. Um, but that the not being able to do that because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't just get a new apartment because I didn't have any money. And it was, creating once again just this anger and so i was blaming everybody else i was blaming the world i was blaming myself and because i was saying everybody's gonna be disappointed in me because i'm not doing the things i need to be doing and this anger caused me to seek out relationships that were also causing me you know causing me harm from an emotional and mental standpoint where i you know i was a seen as guy that just was constantly using me making me feel like i i I just was waiting for him all the time and I couldn't stand up to him because it, you know, then I would lose him and I didn't want to lose him because I needed that. And it was constant 
never ending, like just anger because of the situation. And finally, one morning after having spent an evening or night, you know, with probably, I probably spent the evening in the bar and having had this conversation with this, with this guy and he basically made me feel like I wasn't worth anything. I made a decision. I woke up and I said, that that's not okay. I, I am worth something. I deserve to be stronger. I deserve more than what this person is giving me. And I woke up and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, that's enough, Kayla. You are enough. You deserve more than the whole situation is giving you. You are stronger than all these people. You have brilliant thoughts. You are smart, you're athletic, you are kind. You are enough. I just told myself, I looked in the mirror and I told myself that I was enough. And this shift for some reason really caused me to make a decision that I wasn't going to let other people stand in my way anymore. I totally left that the guy. I instantly started looking for a new job and I, I just felt lighter. I, I was, everything was lighter. I had, I started smiling more. I had more energy. And here's the thing, nothing else changed. I still lived in this shitty apartment. I still had the job where I didn't make any money. I still could barely afford food. Barely, you know, I, all these things. But by telling myself and consciously making a decision to believe in myself and to work on those beliefs and to focus on me rather than everybody else around me, I uplifted a whole bunch of weight. I started to make a plan and create goals and have actions towards the things that I wanted to be doing again. And it was this mindset shift from negative self-talk, negative self-worth, negative self-belief, and negativity about the things around me and acceptance and the shifting that to acceptance of the pieces around me so knowing that okay this is where I am right now that doesn't mean it's going to be that way forever acceptance of myself for who I was and knowing that I had things I needed to work on and moving towards a positive productive mindset versus a negative one allowed me to open up my heart and have space for other people. And I swear the universe was telling me something because four, four days later, I met my husband. Um, and that, that light that I met, like had through that allowed me to meet this amazing person and has led me to then, you know, constantly move forward and constantly reach for that next level of me. And now I, here I am today sharing my story with you. All I did was change my internal environment. All I did was change my internal me. My external didn't change. We often get so focused on our external that our in we forget to change our internal. And that's where mindset's really important. It's all about changing the um, internal you. And when we make that decision to do so, it's really important. Um, and that's what, you know, that's what as mindset coaches, that's all we're trying to help you do. Um, I wish, I had worked with a mindset coach way back when. Um, I think that maybe it would have saved me a lot of heartache, it would have saved me a lot of anger, it would have saved me a lot of this constant berating of myself that I was disappointing people and that nobody believed in me and they didn't like, they didn't, just because I wasn't where I needed to be right then and meant that they didn't love me anymore. And that, that was never the case. Um, in fact, they loved me so much that they just wanted to help. Didn't, they didn't care where I was. They just wanted me to be happy and wanted me to be feel light and feel strong and me moving forward, not just stagnant. Um, and so that, you know, that mindset shift was really powerful. 
Um, and you know, it's one of those things where we've all been in situations like this, where we're so focused on our external environment that we for we forget that it's our internal that needs to change. Um, and this is something that's benefited me, you know, years down the road, like I mentioned, um, years later when I was in Kona, in 2017, I was having one of the worst races of my life. I, I was slogging through a marathon and, you know, I, I, I was on track to, you know, barely run a four hour marathon. And I, I, I'm someone who's a, you know, a 310 marathoner and was running 11 minute miles. And I was so angry and I was so frustrated. And I was thinking that everyone, people were going to be disappointed in me for what I was doing. And I wasn't going to hit my goals. And that meant everyone was going to hate me. And all these things that were so untrue. And I had to, in the middle of the marathon, I had to realize that and had to make a mindset shift. I had to switch from saying, everybody's disappointed in you to no, this is my day. No, everybody just loves me. Everyone supports me. Um, I am stronger than this marathon. I have worked really hard. I, I can do this. I can take that energy from myself and I can put it into my race. And I was able to turn it around. Um, it still wasn't a great race, but I was able to turn it around and I've actually learned from it and had a better race and had a better day and was able to ca use that to catapult again to where I am now. If I wouldn't have had that race, I probably wouldn't have done Ironman Texas and I probably wouldn't have qualified for Kona again and I wouldn't have come in eighth the next year. Like I wouldn't have done that because I had, didn't, I had that, if I hadn't had that race. And so it's amazing how each thing changes you and forces you to become a better person to take to the next level you. So that is my story for you guys. Um, just, you know, it's one of those where we've all been there and I hope my story maybe motivates you a little bit to feel a little stronger about yourself, to make the decisions to make a mindset shift, knowing that someone else has been there. And if you ever have questions or need help, um, I, as a mindset coach, I'm here to help you to take yourself to that next level you. And changing your mindset is very powerful and it can really take you to that next level you if you let it and you believe in yourself and you allow yourself to become that next level you. So thank you guys, have a great day.